A glittering and meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centered around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a stadium both packed and passionate? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. Complete coverage is on the way right here on EA TV. Hello to you on what is a perfect night. We're at the home of football, Wembley. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's England up against Portugal. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. And the free kick caught cleanly by the keeper. Stones. Disappointing for England to give it away in that manner. Leal. Now with Otavio. Well, just narrowly wide of the post that time. Declan Rice. Now Harry Kane. Well, he's given it away. Leal. Now with Fernandes. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Alexander Arnold. Bukayo Saka. Well, good run and good ball control. Is it going to be? Can they cover up? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, Portugal might be onto something. Cross towards that far post. Well, under no real pressure as he brought the ball down. And Portugal regaining possession. Well, it could be on for him here. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. As you can see, he's just placed that beyond the keeper. That's a very good finish. Wasteful from England. Andy Topham, that's Andy Topham. Can you please return to your vehicle immediately? Thank you. Minch. And Portugal exploiting the space on the flank. That's a good-looking ball. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. They've only got two goals in quick succession now they have the lead no wonder they're celebrating replay and just look at that power that's almost unstoppable that's a great strike stones now with alexander arnold and that'll be england's throw in and possibilities here the save was a good one and into the clutches of the goalkeeper Ronaldo. Ronaldo threading it through. 
And Bernardo Silva in a productive position potentially. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! Just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. Declan Rice. Alexander-Arnold. Bukayo Saka. Can they convert? And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, nothing comes of it. Now, perhaps they can counter from here. Promising pass. Fernando Silva. The ball with Otavio. Fernandes. Fernando Silva. And made sure the pass wasn't troublesome. And Diogo Costa has it now. England using width to good effect here. Chance here. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. England struggling to keep hold of it. Wait on the pass. Still alive. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Can he convert? Oh, denied by the post. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Now, who can he play it to? Leal. Well, he knows what he's doing defensively. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. And pressing from the front. Nicely timed tackle. Foden. Can he take advantage? Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Now, sending it in. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now, here at Wembley. Well, they've really done a good job of keeping Phil Foden quiet, and that's no easy task, is it? Yeah, he's not played well, has he? He's just failed to have an impact here. Mind you, I think we could say that about the whole team. He just hasn't looked like scoring today. And back underway here. No sugarcoating it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from England in the second? And a timely intervention. From one side of the pitch to the other. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Oh, the threat is there. What a clearance under pressure. Had to react and did. 
chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. Can they make it count? Well, it broke down, alas. Ronaldo. And the pass deftly cut out. Otavio read it superbly to take back possession Saka well a really good run Kane could be oh yes a goal exactly what they were looking for and he's come up with it Back underway, 3-1 the score. Diesch. Nuno Mensch. And Palinha with it. Well, when you're leading, you can afford to be pass happy. And intercepts again. Nuno Mensch. And Portugal showing good width. And let's give credit to the defending. Coming off the pitch, number 17, Rafael Yang. To be replaced by number 21, Diogo Jota. Trippier has lost possession. Incisive pass. And a goal! Well, as you can see again, Fernandez plays a perfectly weighted pass beyond the defenders. And this is Ronaldo at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the keeper. Uh, good work from Portugal to win it back. Palinha. Mensch. Went in strongly, decisively. Promising pass. That's a useful cross. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Skipping away. Going well. Pretty simple for the keeper. And given away. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. <laughs> and sending the free kick just wide of the post. Well, that was a really good effort, but unfortunately for him, as you said, he doesn't quite hit the target. Jude Bellingham. And passing it through. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then it's a top class strike from Kane. His technique is absolutely spot on. Just look at the power he generates here. Sloppy in possession from England here. What a brilliant pass. 
a matter of keeping his composure and he's kept it out fully stretched somehow reaching it he's driven in the corner well as a defender that will sit you down to the ground they couldn't hang on to it again and deflected beyond the byline so a corner here can he deliver it with accuracy well a bit short with the clearance Pepe good distribution and Bernardo Silva has it nicely blocked who can they pick out clearing it away firing it towards goal my goodness, that save, fully stretched he was, one for his own highlights reel. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. Minch. And that was a very fine read. Just wanted to get it out of there. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Oh, managing to beat him. chance well the keeper in possession to prevent another goal from him well he's a massive threat that really could have been his second goal there and over it comes half-hearted clearance well they stopped them in their tracks well the electronic board showing three additional minutes Saka now Harry Kane. Madison. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Oh, great piece of individual skill. And he's broken free. Happy to take on the shot. And the final whistle here. A real sense of feel-good in the Portuguese camp on the back of this victory, Stuart. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It's a great performance. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been at his brilliant best. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.